ABC News, Kristen Dahlgren has more for us. Kristen, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. They say five to ten minutes without oxygen, and you're likely to suffer massive brain damage. And doctors say Missouri teen John Smith was without oxygen for much longer than that. But this morning, he is home. He can walk. He can talk. And boy, does he have a story to tell. Eighth grader John Smith doesn't remember much after this picture. He and two friends posing out on the ice of Lake St. Louis. And then this. There's one child underwater now. Frigid water and a desperate scramble by rescuers trying to pull John to safety. There's no really any explanation but how God wanted me to live for a reason, so I'm alive now. Doctors agree, calling John's survival miraculous. He was gone. I mean, he was, I've never felt someone that cold in my life. They had little hope when John came in. The boy had been under the icy water for 15 minutes. They tried to revive him for almost half an hour, then called in his mother to tell her he was gone. I started praying very loudly. God, please don't take my son. She came on in here, walked in, sat down, and yelled out, Come Holy Spirit, and said his name, and... A few seconds later, we had a heartbeat. It gave me goosebumps. It was just a miracle. And I remember everybody just kind of started crying. He's the light of my life. But would he ever be the same? John kept defying the odds. Within 48 hours, he opened his eyes. Then, the basketball-loving teen gave doctors a sign that his mind was still okay. We said, well, John, pretend your left hand is LeBron James and your right hand is Michael Jordan. And then they asked him a series of questions and he got them all right. It was really amazing. On Friday, rescuers met up with Smith, giving him some Cavs gear, even though he knows they have already given him the greatest gift. We're thankful that I'm alive now. We want to thank KSTK, our St. Louis affiliate, for their help with the story. Smith still has a cough. He's in physical therapy to regain movement in his hands. But, guys, another part of this miracle, the rescue squad had just practiced their ice rescues oh, right goodness. before this happened. So everything fell into place. To I'm listening to those nurses. Uh, I got the chills myself. I mean, yeah. imagine being in that room and watching that happen. Incredible. Let's send it over to Dylan down in the orange room. She is with today.